Hello, how y'all doing? I'm Chris, and I just had some really devastating news. My fiance, her name is Chelsea, apparently has took too many of something in an argument with her mother and sister at her house. And then I could just thought it was like any other night. And, you know, I just wish I would have took this more seriously. She was the love of my life. I really loved a woman. Um, she meant everything to me. You know, I'd do anything for her. And, you know, I just wanted her to get out of that house because her parents, mom, and they've kept her locked into it her entire life. So it's been very hard for her to just get out there and see there's more to life than being in, locked up in a damn house all the time. And this... I was with her five years, five years, and all of a sudden out of the blue, I get a phone call, and she was going to the emergency room up here in Harrison, Ohio. Well, uh, she apparently took something, and that she was being taunted about doing all night and so she went to the hospital to get looked at and next thing I know she was released because I finally was able to get a hold of somebody that told me she was discharged that night the following morning her mother texts me and says that she's on her way to the hospital to see her. She's in a coma. And spoke with her father to verify it because in the past they've lied to me before and told me she was dead. They found her dead laying there on her bed that morning. And I couldn't believe it. It took me a while. Three days later I get a phone call, thank God, and she was fine. And I was thinking this is just another one of those times again. So, her dad talks to me for a minute on the phone and says, yes, she's in a coma. And I couldn't believe it. I about lost it. Because I couldn't find out any information because I'm her fiancé. Not legally married, but I am married to her. And, you know, she and I saw everything the same way. We loved each other. And she was under so much depressing stuff at her house all the time. She had, didn't know what to do. And so she resorted to something, you know, that I wish she wouldn't have done. And she ended up in a coma and the other day died. And I didn't believe it. And this is five days ago. And I've been trying to find out until tonight. I finally found out because on her obituary, it says she is buried. Family only was a text I got from her mom. Family only could attend the funeral. And that includes everybody she hated, everybody she did not want around her, everybody that made her feel uncomfortable through her lifetime, everybody that made her belittled her, just never let her feel like a person her entire life and 
it blows me away that I couldn't even attend her funeral now. I'm putting this out there because maybe somebody has been through the same thing as I'm going through right now. And I just lost her, and I'll never see her again. She's dead, and that just something that blows me away. I'll never be able to get over this. And I hope to God, when you hear or ever suspect of anybody ever being suicidal or wanting to harm themselves at all, Please, don't hesitate. Just call, do something. It, this whole situation could have been if I would have just took her and moved her out of there. I slept in her driveway night after night because her mother would never let her leave the house. She always kept her locked up in the house, almost like a Cinderella. And she had no other life in the world out there because her mom kept her locked up constantly. And feeding her medicine just to keep her out of it enough where she would just not care and just stay at the house all the time to her getting in a fight with her sister and then her being too afraid to tell the police that it was her sister that broke her ankle and she said that she kicked something and it broke it and her mom even said something to me about Chris you better not say anything about them her getting in a fight with her sister and then she broke her ankle so I don't know man I'm in a world of hurt now because I lost the love of my life and she's gone and she's not coming back now just because her mother and sister and her brother was the ones now that made the decision to the one person that loved her the most not to go to the funeral and that right there has got my head spinning well I hope maybe somebody out there has a similar story and if you do just give me a thumbs up on this and I hope maybe this touches somebody out there too if anybody's ever suicidal please don't hesitate, call, and let somebody know that they need help and walk with them to the place where they can get help at. I'm out of here, I guess, and I love you, Chelsea, and I will always miss you. You'll always be in my heart, and you'll never be forgotten.